Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. I'm starting this vlog in my kitchen. Still on holiday, week four of whatever upon me. I don't know yet if this is gonna be a lot vlog. I'm in a poll because I haven't decided. Hope you will enjoy. I'm going to the hairdresser to cut and color my hair, so that will be fun. And of course, I'm bringing you with me. And uh, yeah, let's go, let's go. I'm trying to see if you can like see it well but yeah purple highlights I think you could probably see it better like in certain lights it's noisy out here I don't know I don't know you can actually sorry now you can't see anything I was like actually really surprised of how it turned out because I tried to highlight my purple highlight my purple highlight my hair purple before but it never wanted to work out because my hair is so dark, but I think it looks really well. I'm not like the best of you right now, but we should see like how it looks like in different angles, etc. So I'm like, <laughs> but yeah, I'm really happy. The, 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 the lady that did it was really, really nice. And I had a really good time. Now I'm starving because I haven't eaten anything. But yeah, I think I look cute. Can you see it really well in the camera? I don't know, but I still think I look cute. I'm very happy. Yay! like a bit darker you can barely see it like actually it was not purple at all right now sad life but either way it's later in the day and i was on sprint for like four seconds on stuff's channel but the internet hair does not want to let me sprint like it fell out all the time it was very really sad but i did read like pretty sprinting right now and i like in the chat comments and stuff but i finished my book for the day so i read sweet hand by Angie Peltier and that was my last book also for Claire Blackathon which was a 48 hour readathon hosted by Jessica from Both Thousand Books for Juneteenth and I read two books for that yesterday and then the last book for today which was to read a Caribbean book and this one is set in a Caribbean on Trinidad I think it's called if I remember correctly but yeah it was a romance book it just followed these two characters that is on the island now for the first time together for a really long time not being there and then um, they have hated each other for a long time or like been kind of rivals and now they meet and i'm like oh you're kind of sexy and stuff happens so it's not like i didn't like it at all i thought it was oh god i just moved the table with my feet by accident it was a little loud uh, it's not like i didn't like it at all i really really did enjoy it and it was a cute fast read but like i didn't love it either like and like i know romance is not like my favorite genre so it would be like why you're reading it then but i can still enjoy it and like the story and like i would definitely recommend this is like if i was going to make a romance recommendation video this would be in it so yeah but i think i'm just giving like three out of five stars just because like i didn't love it but i still had a good time with it i definitely think it could have been more smutty like it was like one half good sex scene but it was like amazing and then like all the others were fade to black which was disappointing. I like my romance as a bit more smutty. But yeah, it was overall just a cute read and I did enjoy it. Obviously, since it was for queer black at home, the books I'm reading for that had to be queer, obviously, because that's kind of the point. And the main character, the dude, what was his name? I just read a book, Curian. <sighs> I uh, actually literally forgot the girl's name too. I think it was Cassidy, not Cassidy, I don't even know. Caricia, either way. He was bisexual and like yeah so that was the queer up and that so that was nice but yeah so now i finished queer back on i read three books for that feeling all proud so i'm happy about that obviously counting what i'm reading somehow for whatever i found the third big goal is not going well because i'm just reading random shit instead of planning 
which is bad, but yeah. So now I'm kind of done to read a leaf for today. Maybe listen to some audiobook. Kind of need to edit whatever from Vogue Tree. Internet is really bad, so I'm gonna try to edit it before bed so I can talk about it while you're sleeping. But I also know it's gonna take ages. Don't really feel like doing it, so we shall see, we shall see. But yeah, an actual reading update for this vlog. But no, I know this vlog hasn't been that long. But yeah, so you see me soon. Okay, so Erica and I, the trash people we are, found out that my favorite restaurant delivers. <laughs> So we ordered delivery because we didn't bother walking 40 minutes to the restaurant because we are trash people. And now it's here. And it was super cheap. We didn't even have to pay for delivery. What is this? Can we just stay here? Just stay here for the food. Could we, could we deliver to Norway? Imagine that. Hi, I just want to order some food to Norway. And they're like, what? It was even cheaper actually to get it delivered and go there because we didn't buy drinks because we have drinks at home. No. Okay. We're going to eat. I'm going to film the food. Bye. Okay, so I think we ate and then I forgot vlogging was the thing, but I'm uploading my vlog, my my reading vlog for week three right now. And we need to, I do need to do while we go sleep because it's so bad. Like, well, if we use the internet in the meantime, it's going to be like horrible. So yeah, it says actually it would take one hour and 53 minutes. So that is something. But um, yeah, we're going to bed at night, so I just need to be on my lights. But yeah, it's the only other video I need to like upload when we're here because the other two I have already like uploaded when I was home. I was like, what is this? You see this? <laughs> is this? Because I'm getting a tan. Because this looks not nice. But either way, thank you for Erica flushing the toilet when I'm talking. I'm going to bed. So you will see me tomorrow. <laughs> also, you can't see the color. Meh! <laughs> Not much later i took showers and i was like not as straight anymore so like i don't know like it's not like <laughs> i don't know how to describe it it feels more like natural now i guess but it's still weird either way <laughs> not everyone hair is just for my hair i am aware so what did we do what did i do what, what am i talking about yeah we had takeaway for breakfast then went out later for like the waffle thing and then we had leftovers from yesterday for dinner i don't know why i'm telling you about my food but whatever but yeah, I didn't like read anything physical today because I looked at my bingo board to see what I need to finish to finish the third board off. And I realized the stuff I need to finish had to work with audiobooks because that's just how it went today. So I finished Anyway the Wind Blows by Rambo Wowl, finished off this trilogy. And I ended up like liking it. I love the characters, etc. I love the character development and I love the world, but I just don't think the plot was like amazing, etc. But I had a good time. So I'm giving like four to five stars ish. 3.5 maybe and like I'm fine with finishing off the series and now I don't need to think about it anymore Yay, kind of sad considering it used to be my fave, but it's fine And then I started my next book because anyone who blows ends with an S and then really need to finish the First letter last letter challenge for the board. So I needed a book starting with S For that I'm reading Sylvanas by Christy Golden. I'm listening also this to the other book because Erica also really want to read this which is very excited for it and we also listened to before the Storm, also by Christy Golden a few years ago. Actually, we were on Gran Canaria <laughs> when we listened to that. Four years ago, we were in the exact same place. And it's really weird because we are here now listening to Savannah's, which is not like the direct sequel because it's like, of course, been books between because, you know, it's a World of Warcraft book that has been books in between. It's just funny that we were literally on Gran Canaria bought us when we read it on audio. 
totally unplanned, but it happened. So we listen to that and we're gonna finish that off tomorrow. I am gonna read physical tomorrow, but I'm not gonna finish that book because I need to finish the Savannah's one to like fill the challenge. Can the washing machine stop beeping? If you can hear that, I'm really sorry. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow we are going to like this fancy place. It's not really fancy, but it's a bit more fancy. We're gonna actually be a bit outside more tomorrow. My parents like order this stuff things for us. We are literally just going there for the free food. But yeah, I'm gonna read and just chill. It's free for us, but it's a bit fancy. So I'm gonna always give him that, like big mattresses, etc. So we see tomorrow. But yeah, that's what I read. Didn't read anything physically, but I did in theory read for many hours. I think like all together, like five hours of reading. Also, you could have finished the physical book in that time, but I didn't do that. But yeah, now I'm gonna go to bed and uh, wake him up early for the free thing tomorrow. Or oh, theory, it's not free, but it's free because my parents bought it with points. <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed. See you tomorrow. Came home, I'm living my life, feeling okay after we had a technically huge breakfast and a huge dinner, uh, not dinner, uh, lunch, and now I'm again hungry. And then I was like, didn't put sunscreen on one side of my body, and that was like because like we sat sideways and sunburned like on one side. I would probably get sunburned, I thought, and then I thought that I wasn't, and I was saw myself in the mirror, and I'm like, Erica, because you didn't put sunscreen on me. What are you doing? No, I wouldn't feed him at first. <laughs> no, not one of feeding me. <laughs> Go away from me. No, I'm going to feed my son. <laughs> I'm just going to show you. I'm pouting. How do I do this? This side, normal. Yeah, normal, nice, nice, right? And on this side. Ah, you can not see it properly. I don't know why I'm making a big deal. It's only a sunburn, but... It hurts. It's gonna be painful. I don't wanna slap myself down. <laughs> Look at it! Hate my wife, hate my wife. Okay, you can come now, scary person. <laughs> You're gonna go out to eat now. I'm starving. Bye. Okay, so I realized I haven't talked to the vlog in like two days, of course, because life. So the day before yesterday, we were at like the fancy place. You could see it. We were lying like on the place. Yeah, you were there. I talked. I, I told you I got sunburned, I remember. And then yesterday we didn't do shit. That like exhausted us. So yeah. But the only thing I've been reading is I needed to read a book so I'm going to ask to fulfill my last letter. First letter prompt. So I listened to Savannah's with Erica. Did I say this already? I don't know. And then we finished that yesterday and it was really good. We really enjoyed the beginning. Like the beginning was so good. Like before we got into the game shit kind of. <laughs> Not that it is shit, but just before we got into where the game is, it got really good. It was really good. And then when we got into that, it was really like 
a lot of skipping, so we didn't enjoy that as much, but we still love Silvanas as a character, so we still enjoyed it a lot. And we finished that yesterday, and then I also started Nightfall uh, the day before yesterday, but I didn't read in any of that yesterday, because I would just listen to Silvanas all day. Finally finished First Kill as well. Absolutely terrible, absolutely hated it, don't want to talk about it anymore, but then I didn't watch it, to be honest. To be honest, I think I could make like a pretty solid run review of that, but I'm probably not gonna, but yeah. And then we started Umbrella Academy Season 3, which we only watched like 20 minutes of, but we absolutely loved it. And I felt like I regained all my brain cells that I lost while watching First Kill. So that is something. And now we're going on a boat trip. We're going on this little boaty boaty. Why are you pouting? It's probably with the stuff you had with you when we went to the place in your backpack. <laughs> Erica was pouty baby. Boat, we're gonna film gonna go into this little like little bit older town which i have been to before but many years ago now gonna film some of that gonna eat some yummy food we haven't eaten anything yet i just want food to be honest that's the only thing i want on this holiday i just want food and then um, yeah of course bringing you with me probably the last exciting thing that will happen is why and let's go
now, sorry. Uh, so last night, I don't think I spoke to a vlog last night, but I finished Nightfall by Shadow Messenger. So I finished my third big award. I will leave a picture here. I don't know if I'll finish a fourth. That means I need to finish some of my books in the next few days, we shall see. And we're going out to eat. This is the last day. No. Are you sad, Erica? Nodded. And also, I got this skirt from Erica. I'm borrowing it. Is it cute? Oh, it's a bit cute. I was like, I want it. And then she was like, you can try it. And now I have it. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. much later almost midnight and i am ending this vlog because it is the last day of the week my next vlog will be only four days because that's how we just ended up because <laughs> i didn't know how to split it we're either seven plus four or 11 days which seems a bit long my suitcase so packed we're going home tomorrow or are we because news flash a flight got cancelled like it just got cancelled there's a lot of like strikes and shits in the flight companies and I just got a message just like, your flight is cancelled, we're trying to get you a new one. But we still haven't gotten a new one. Have no idea what's going to happen. Have no idea if you need to sleep over somewhere or whatever. But we are getting out of here tomorrow morning. Unless we have to go sooner because like maybe we got to fly like suddenly in the middle of the night. Who knows? The next vlog, you will find out the answer because I don't know yet. So I can't give you one. So ending the vlog on a cliffhanger unintentionally. I wanted to get this up on Tuesday, but if I am flying, then... Maybe that's not gonna happen. Who knows? Like everything, all the plans. I was going to work too. So everything is poopy, poopy, poopy. But yeah, just another update is that I read a book today, like a whole book. I was just like, I, I gotta read a short book, read a whole thing. So I read Earthlings by Sayaka Murata, which is the author of Communities of Woman, which I read in May and I absolutely love. It's one of my favorite books this year. And this is the second book by the author. And it is really weird. Just follow that main character. Who has this? Um friend who she thinks is an alien i would like my friend like an animal stuffed animal that she thinks is an alien and then she's just like calling everyone earthlings and just like trying to fit in the society because she also has magical powers and a lot of shit happens to her a lot of shit happens around her do look at trigger warnings for the book it has a lot in it it's honestly even weirder and convenient as a woman kind of has like a magical realism aspect to it Unless I make characters kind of just... I mean, you could... I can't, I can't even complete a full sentence. But you could think about it in two ways. If you want the magic aspect. Or if you just want to know... To think deeply about the character. That's that's what I'm going to say. Truly a ride. Really, really weird. Has a lot of the same things as in community. So one way where it's like... You have to do certain things to fit in the society. So I do, did enjoy all that. But overall, just like super weird much weirder than a convenience or woman but i did enjoy it it was a bit uncomfortable but like kind of in like a good way <laughs> not really good but yeah but like i was thinking about the book and i was just like nothing happy is happening but it was a it was a real one i can't really speak a review right now but i'll try to collect my thoughts more for my wrap up or probably not but i will talk more about it there but yeah i read a whole book so i theory started my fourth board In theory need to finish six more to finish a fourth board there is four days left. Think I could do it. Depends a lot on what happens in the next few days. Um, and how thick books I read. But yeah, uh, hopefully I want to finish a whole book tomorrow. When we're gonna fly, I was gonna say. But are we gonna fly tomorrow? Who knows? I enjoyed this second part of my holiday vlog. Tomorrow, as I said, I will start by leaving this place. And um, take you on a ride. I haven't read like amazingly a lot i think i finished four books this week and four books last week eight books over 14 days it's not terrible but it's not my best it's not my best leave a big sun emoji down below if you enjoyed this and you will see me soon in a new one goodbye and see you in the next vlog of how my life went <laughs>